How's it going there guys? Today's video is just going to be a bit of a basic look into what the AM5N from ZWO has been like to actually use over the course of multiple sessions now at this point. I've been wanting to put together a more fully fledged review for a while now but due to not really not getting as many clear skies as I would like, uh, I've decided to actually split it up. What I'm going to do is I'm going to give you this first review now and then maybe in about four or five months or so when hopefully I've had some more clear skies, I'll give you a extended long-term review. But if you're just here looking for the TLDR of the whole thing, then my thoughts are overwhelmingly positive. I've found it to be a heck of a lot of fun, and I think I'm going to have to buy it for myself. I don't see uh, it being possible for me to send this back in all good conscience. Anyway, so let's start with this review as it is. So, uh... Basically, I took the existing rig, my kind of grab-and-go setup that I like to set up uh, outdoors with, which is a 7 kilogram kind of refractor, camera, ASI air combo. So it's all fitting perfectly into that kind of ASI ecosystem. And uh, I've been really enjoying using that. But I took it off my original AM5 and put it straight on the AM5N without changing anything so it gave me a bit of a nice a b comparison between the two and while i absolutely don't get me wrong i still love my original am5 i have to say it looks to me like they've really cracked it with the am5 and it seems to be even more consistent than the original am5 is so whatever they did when they tweaked the amount of acceptable periodic error uh, that these mounts can ship with effectively you may have seen that in some of the marketing for these things Whatever they've done, however they've done it, it's worked. Um, I've done a couple of different projects now. I'm going to show you a result of kind of my favorite one at the end of this video. Uh, the Bubble Nebula, Lobster Claw, that kind of thing. And basically it's not missed a single sub due to guide errors. If I've lost subs, it's due, you know, due to be um, down to clouds passing by, things like that. It's a mechanical failure or anything like that has been absolutely nothing it's just been guiding perfectly sub after sub after sub now i do want to test this out of course with some longer focal length instruments um in particular interest i think i might like to set this up with my skywatcher quattro perhaps at some point or maybe a slightly larger refractor who knows but yeah overall with a seven kilogram load so just about a little bit less than in the middle of its payload capacity without a counterweight it's been absolutely tremendous, you know, it's just been the, the ultimate companion for those easy grab and go nights. And uh, just lately I have to say that I've really valued that kind of thing. I've been experiencing a little bit of an astro slump in general, I think due to, again, all the bad weather. But as a side effect of that, I found it very easy to be quite negative about some of my gear. You know, in the observatory, if something's not going completely perfectly, not doing exactly what I ask of it suddenly it's on my naughty list um i'm happy to say that the am5n however is not on that list it's always done exactly what i wanted session after session after session so uh you know you can't say fairer than that really now um how has it been to actually set up for all those sessions well i can tell you one thing has changed during my setups uh using the asi air in particular so previously using the original am5 I used to set up and get polar aligned and just get it till it said it was good enough and then you know head off instead because that's really what you what you should do you shouldn't really have to chase after perfect polar alignment or anything like that but because it's so easy to adjust this thing now thanks to that new kind of friction base plate design uh and the side clutches they seem to be just as good if not i think a little bit better realistically speaking than the am5 itself um I've been chasing after just as a bit of a game to play with myself. Perfect polar alignments. I'd never usually do that. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's something I'd take the time to do in my observatory on a, a fixed permanent setup, but just for setting up little sessions here and there in the UK. Not normally, but due to it being so easy, it is something I found myself doing. So, again, as part of that redesign, the general upgrades that they put on this am5 I, I think that's one of my absolute favorite parts of it the uh, the ability to just really predictably make the adjustments necessary in order to get a really good polar alignment so uh that's another major plus point i think one of my total favorite points is something i already mentioned on my initial first look video on this thing and that's the through the mount wiring i'm a major fan of that kind of thing thanks to uh, you know the fact that you can't really end up with tangled cables you know 
snags, etc. I've been bitten by that kind of thing before. Not with an AM5, actually it was with my EQ8 during a live stream at one point. But yeah, that can quickly become a bit of a costly exercise when you get that kind of cable routing system wrong. But on the AM5N, it's just something you can't really get wrong. You can have all your cables rigid and suspended on your OTA and uh, then plugged, you know, straight into the mount head. The thing that actually moves with the OTA, so nothing ever really needs to move. It's just fantastic. I don't know why all mounts aren't like that. So that's uh, a huge plus point for me. I knew I was going to enjoy it, but I didn't realize just how much peace of mind it would give me. So uh, there's absolutely no complaints right there, I would say. I, I mean, if I could offer maybe one further thing that I would like to see would be just a couple of extra normal USB sockets right there in the head uh, as I've seen some perhaps ioptron mounts do in some cases and maybe some of the newer Skywatchers that could be useful but to be honest I think as I'm using it with an ASIA it's a non-issue whatsoever for me uh, I don't have any experience by the way yet using this thing with a standard PC based control system it's all been through the air um, but so that's all I can really report on but yeah once again it's just been completely faultless easy to use and uh, that's really been a running theme through this whole thing actually this kind of review period that I've experienced so far like any really good piece of equipment it kind of just almost fades into the background because you don't have to think about it it just just does its thing quietly you know what I mean and I really I really am a fan of that kind of performance so um Overall, this is going to obviously sound like an extremely positive review, and that's because it is. If I wanted to give you any negative points or something like that, I feel like I'd just have to fabricate something to be negative about, because it's just overwhelmingly been a good experience with this thing. So much so, that as I uh, alluded to, there's no way I'm going to be looking at sending this thing back to ZWO, you know what I mean? I'm going to buy it for myself and use it alongside my original AM5 too, which is still a wonderful mount, don't get me wrong. Just because the AM5N came out didn't make the AM5 suddenly terrible or anything like that. Um, far from it, but you know, it is a uh, incremental upgrade and it is an upgrade um, in all the ways possible. So yeah, I'm going to leave it at that. Anyway, guys, hopefully you appreciate me getting this review out. I know a few people have been asking for this and I wish I could have got more testing done in this time since I received the mount. Um, but as I say, I can't make the skies clear. They are what they are. <laughs> so uh, we'll just have to come to that another time during maybe a long term review. Uh, so yeah, that's about it from me. Thank you very much indeed for watching. Thank you for your time. Thank you for your support. I appreciate you all. And until the next one, bless guys.